It has finally happened. Artificial intelligence has made it into schools. There's a free AI tool out there called ChatGPT, and it will blow your mind. My students are already using it on a daily basis to create flashcards and presentations. Tasks that would have previously taken hours can now be completed within minutes. Want to create a practice quiz on greenhouse gases along with a mark scheme? Let ChatGPT generate it for you in seconds. Or how about creating an essay on, let's say, the tragedy of Macbeth, an exploration of free will and fate? No problem, here are five incredibly well-written paragraphs. Those should get you started. In this video, I will show you all the ways in which you as a student can use ChatGPT. So let's get started. So what is ChatGTP? In essence, it's a very smart chatbot developed by OpenAI, a US company founded in 2015. At the time of recording this video, ChatGPT was completely free. I suggest you create your own account now. So for that, go to chat.openai.com and create your own account. Here's an overview of all the things we'll be looking at today. Now, it's helpful to think of ChatGPT like your personal tutor, somebody who can explain complex topics, answer all the questions in great detail, create practice questions, help you design study material, and much more. Let's take a look at summarization and expansion. Summarization is great if you need to get the main points out of a long text in a short amount of time. And expansion is great for extracting more detailed information from too generalized information. Let's take a look at both of these separately. The World War II Wikipedia article is 15 pages long. Let's ask ChatGPT to summarize the article in one paragraph. This is obviously a ridiculous task because World War II was such a massive event, but the summary does cover the most important points in 131 words. We could also ask it to summarize it in two or three paragraphs. It will continue adding information as you request it. Now we can also expand on a sentence that we want to know more about. The World War II Wikipedia page reads, China appealed to the League of Nations to stop the Japanese invasion in Manchuria. There's not a lot of additional information on that incident, so let's ask ChatGPT to find out more. Copy-paste the sentence and say something like, tell me more. So what we've done is we've expanded the Wikipedia article to contain information that was previously not available. Let's say you feel stuck sitting at home trying to understand how to balance chemical equations, but the textbook and the YouTube videos are just not helpful. Well, now you can ask ChatGPT for assistance. So check this out. Explain how to balance a chemical equation. Okay, that's a pretty decent explanation. It starts off with a general explanation and then proceeds by going through an example with a step-by-step -step set of instructions. Brilliant. At this point, you might feel like you know how to balance equations. Let's practice with a few examples by asking ChatGPT to create five unbalanced equations. Amazing. Okay, let's suppose we overestimated our abilities and we still don't understand how that first equation was balanced. Let's request an explanation for that particular equation. For the first equation, explain how to balance it. See, this is what I mean with having a private tutor. Before ChatGPT, you would have to take a general explanation of how to balance an equation and apply to your specific example. But now you can get explanations that are specific to the example that you're dealing with. This is really powerful stuff and it will become more obvious with later examples how that is powerful. And lastly, let's ask it for all the answers to all the questions here. Let's say you were given the task of writing a literary analysis essay, examining the themes, characteristics, and symbols in The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Now, maybe you don't know what a literary analysis is and how to write a good one. You could go and ask Google and find out, or you could just let ChatGPT write it for you. So check this out. This essay is already amazing. Maybe you could probably already hand it in like this. If there's a word count you need to reach, no problem. You just say, write this essay in 400 words. But what about plagiarism? Won't my teacher find out with software like Turnitin that this is not my original work? No, actually, ChatGPT does not copy text from other websites. It generates completely new text every time you enter a request. In fact, it's likely that you will get a different version each time you use it. So why am I a teacher telling you all this? Am I telling you to cheat? Well, let me explain my perspective on this. First, 
these services are not going to go away. Eventually, everybody will be using them. So why should I try to stop the inevitable? And second, your teachers will eventually learn about ChatGTP as well. When they do, they will give you tasks that cannot be solved with ChatGPT. But that's beside the point. School should not be about students and teachers trying to outwit each other. Teachers spend their working hours thinking about how to help you attain new knowledge and skills. This is their mission. When they assign homework, it is not because they want to make you suffer, but because they think the exercise will be beneficial to you. If your teacher wants you to write an essay, it may be because they want to help you develop your writing abilities. If you ask ChatGPT to write an essay for you, you will not expose yourself to that exercise. Sure, you'll have a nice evening, but long term, you won't be as good of a writer and you won't do as well on the exams as you could have. If you let ChatGPT write the essay for you, the only person you're really cheating is yourself. So now you've got this really powerful tool at your disposal. And you know what they say. With great power comes great responsibility. Now, I've also created a ChatGPT video exclusively for teachers to help them reduce their workload and to teach better lessons. If you want to do your teacher a favor, send them that video. Link in the video description below. I promise they will be very grateful to you. Okay, back to the essay. How could ChatGPT be used in a better way? Well, the goal is to write a good essay, but maybe we need more clarity on what constitutes a good essay. So how about asking ChatGPT to provide a checklist of things to include in a literary analysis essay? These are great because there's such concrete steps that I can take right now. Before, I didn't know how to write a literary analysis, but now at least I have an idea. Okay, let's say you finished writing your essay. You could ask ChatGPT to improve it. Just copy your essay into it and ask ChatGPT to suggest improvements on this essay. These are helpful tips. Now you can go again, improve your essay, and then ask ChatGPT to look over it again. Notice how much you're learning. Every time you ask ChatGPT for suggestions, you are making your essay slightly better. I tell you, this is incredibly powerful stuff. You'll be writing fantastic essays in no time, including on your exam day. ChatGPT is really effective at finding mistakes. All you have to do is explain something to it and ask if, it, if it's correct. I've created this text, which has three mistakes in it. Plants eat sunlight and combine it with oxygen and water in their stomach to make sugar. First, plants don't eat sunlight, but absorb it. Second, Plants don't combine sunlight with oxygen, but with carbon dioxide. And third, these ingredients are not combined in the stomach, but in the chloroplast. Okay, ChatGPT, good luck. So, plants do not have stomachs, strike one. Plants use carbon dioxide instead of oxygen, strike two. And plants absorb rather than eat sunlight, strike three. Fantastic little ChatGPT. So if you wanna check if your work is accurate, Plug it into ChatGPT and ask for it to check your work. You could even have a conversation with it. Just explain a concept to it, like photosynthesis, and ask it to correct your text. Let's say you want to understand a particular topic, say cellular respiration in biology. So let's start by creating a text on it like this. Explain cellular respiration. Okay, great. Now we have a general overview of what this topic includes. Now, how about creating a flashcard on, say, the Krebs cycle? Let's try that now. If you need more, say something like, create five more flashcards. These are already great. All you got to do now is copy the text onto sheets of paper or into your flashcard app. So many of my students struggle with understanding a topic in class. When this happens, it is usually because they lack essential knowledge from previous lessons. I can help them in class, but I have to split my attention across 20, 30 students. And when students are at home, they often feel helpless because they can't figure out what knowledge they're missing. But now you can find out. Let's take the Krebs cycle again as our example. What do I need to know first before I can understand the Krebs cycle? This is a great starting point. You can go through these bullet points and identify things you might want to revisit first. You could even go a level further by taking one of these bullet points and requesting a list again. Let's take the third point on the list, say enzymes, as an example. So no more feeling lost. 
no more reliance on your teachers. So let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT, create an outline for a presentation on antibiotics. Great, this is a well-rounded presentation. Many of these headings could be titles for the different slides in the presentation. Great overview. Okay, but how about some actual content? Let's flesh out the content for this fourth point, resistance to antibiotics, by asking ChatGPT to create two paragraphs that explain resistance to antibiotics. This is a way of learning about your presentation as you're building it. That's actually quite efficient. Now, it's not good practice to read off these paragraphs during your presentation. What you need is a bullet point summary for handheld notes to keep track of what you want to talk about. So let's ask ChatGPT to create a bullet point summary of these paragraphs that can be used as handheld notes during a presentation. You know, I really wish this existed when I was a student. Your presentations will be done quicker. It will probably have a better structure as well as better content. Now for the cherry on top, let's ask our little AI to make a list of things I need to do to give an effective presentation. ChatGPT can write code for you and help you understand it. Check this out. Write a code in HTML5 that counts backwards from 100 to 0 in 10 seconds and print the output onto the center of the screen at 30 frames per second in black font size 100. Incredible! I have pretty much zero coding abilities and writing this code would have probably taken me hours the problem with coding is that it's hard to know what to include. There's always something you're missing. This example tells me exactly what the different components of the code are, what they do, and how they lock into each other. This is a powerful tool to learn coding. Now you can also use ChatGPT to find bugs. I introduced a bug into the code like this and asked ChatGPT to find it for us. And sure enough, it did. Note that this doesn't always work. Removing this semicolon stops the code from working, but ChatGPT didn't catch that bug. Debugging software definitely is better in this regard. Firstly, ChatGTP has a limited knowledge of events that occurred after 2021. It doesn't know that there is a war in the Ukraine and that Argentina won the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Second, it usually can't provide citations because the text that it writes is newly synthesized. If you need citations, I would recommend working with a traditional search engine such as Google, but ChatGTP can still start you off by creating an overview of a topic. And third, some of its content is wrong, so you can't let your guard down and trust it blindly. If you're working on very important stuff, I would double check the accuracy of the text. And fourth, ChatGTP will probably not be free, free forever. OpenAI has, among other investors, received 1 billion US dollars in funding from Microsoft and Elon Musk, respectively, and recently transitioned into a for profit company in 2019. And Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, recently said on Twitter that each chat costs a few cents. I can imagine users having to pay for it at some point. There are probably many neat applications of ChatGPT that we have yet to discover. So what I've done is I've created a Discord group that you can join to learn more about how ChatGPT can be used. Maybe you have a great neat idea that we need to hear about. So if you want to join, go ahead and click on the link in the video description below. There, I've also created a spreadsheet that summarizes all the contents of this particular video. And lastly, if you want to join me on my quest on finding better ways of doing education, then hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.